Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Myself, Jake, Joe's McFly, Storielli, Paxton Elrod. We are a team. We are. As we are trying to become millionaires. What name is given to a dishonest or careless workman? I think it's like, a, like whoa there, cowboy. Like when you see someone... But a cowboy okay. isn't necessarily dishonest or careless. Isn't a cowboy just like wild and free? Like if someone came up on a job site and started just like slinging stuff, you'd be like, whoa, whoa there, cowboy. And I don't think anything else really makes sense. I mean, cowpat, I don't think is a word. Lock it in. Let's do it. Okay, Okay, Easy. you need to calm down. Yeah. Let's go. Claps for us. Okay. Claps for us. That's good. Good. Do we need like a okay, signature move when we get something right? Maybe maybe we like salute and then bow. Okay. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. Which of these cities can you sunbathe on South Beach? Welcome to Miami. No discussion. Miami, Miami. We're getting a million dollars. That's if it's yes. not, I'm not playing this game anymore. I don't know why. You pulled oh. it off. I don't know why it makes me so mad when they're like, are you sure? Like, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Like, calm down. Those used to be fantastic clips, though, in the real game. They did. When Regis would hit like him sweat. with the, are you sure? You know, I don't know, Reg. The way you said that kind of stunk. Oh. What would you most, what would you be most likely to buy in a delicatessen? It's food, right? That's yeah, a deli. It's, it's a deli. It's a deli. It's a deli. that one past me. Nah. I thought about it a lot. Italian. And I'm going to say C. Okay. Okay. Which of these is a book? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Both kind of froze up. Uh, but with the options listed, I think with deductive reasoning, we're saying the catcher in the rye. Yeah. Nice. In which U.S. city is the what? Okay. Is this... Real? This feels like a little bit too much of a layup. We're going Washington, D.C. Yeah, 1,000%. Start doing our celebration. I mean, if we We're want to, D. to be picky, like, there, I'm sure there is a White House right. in every city, right. but the, the White House. Thousand bucks. Okay. 500 each. We heard this was hard. We did. People kept telling us. In the comic strips, Garfield the cat hates which day of the week? I think I know the answer to this. Do you know? I'm going. Should I just pit ourselves against each other? Why would you do that? I thought we were talking team. like Regis Moore. I'm going Monday. Right? Paxton Elrod. <laughs> You've come here from Tennessee. And now we're talking Garfield the cat. Do you have a guess? I'm going Monday, right? Old joke. Let's just lock this in and move on. Yeah. Because it's not the other I, days of the week. No. It's my I feel great, physically and mentally. You We're cruising. Why would you hate other, any of the other days? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. The Great Red Spot is a, is a feature of which planet? You think you've got this? I think it's Jupiter. It's a giant red spot on Jupiter, right? I mean... I'm going to be real with you. I have no clue. Well, I like totally just missed that. Science was not. Just it. didn't happen. In my head, Mercury was red, which is the only thing. But again, I know nothing. But Do the great red spot is a feature. Right. So of not the planet. The how, conf how confident are you in Jupiter? I'm confident. That's You're it. You're confident. Yeah. I've seen a lot of space movies and people try to fly into the. No lifelines. You've got this. Because if not, friendship over. That's... Had a hell of a run. Six months. Exactly. <laughs> six months <laughs> to the nose. I'm confident. I'm confident. Let's roll it. I love that confidence. I'm confident. Jupiter. None, none of the other ones have great red spots. And all the other ones are small. Go. C seems good to me. Okay, C. This type of stuff so much stress. I'm going to lock it in. Oh, do it. Let's yeah. go! This is where everything starts blurring together for me. Social studies is not okay. the vibe. Um, we're going to use a lifeline. 
Fifty fifty feels like a bad time to use that because yeah. we currently have zero options. So phone a friend, normally a, one of the strongest lifelines. I would call Jimmy. He knows U.S. history. He's really good with that stuff. He would have this on lock. Uh -huh. We could pull the audience. I'd like to think in their audience and our audience, there'd be one person that would know. You think someone out there knows? Yeah. I'd like to think so. I'd like to think we'd get a strong answer from out there, and it would coincide with one of the video game's audience's leans. Okay. Okay. Is that what we're feeling we do? Do we want to hold a call? I mean, can we can we talk through any, like, can we get rid of any of these that we think? In the nicest way to myself, no. Okay. Okay. So I, we call Jimmy. Fine. Like, he would have this on lock. He loves presidents. Let's do it. Okay. Call Jimmy. So I'm going to use the phone a friend in the game okay. to... Hello. Hey, Jimmy. It's Jake Sturielli. I'm on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I'm, I'm with Paxton. Hey. Um, it, it, we have a president question, so I figured you were my guy. Okay. I love presidents. Dutch was a nickname of which former U.S. president? Ronald Reagan, Gerald Ford, Richard Nixon, or Jimmy Carter? Dutch, not Reagan, not Jimmy Carter. What were the other options? Nixon or Ford. Let's go Ford. No one cared about him. He probably had a dumb nickname. Nixon? You don't sound as confident as I'd like you to be. I'm punching Ford. He's the, pre he's the one everyone knows the least about. If Reagan was named Dutch, we'd know it. So you're going Gerald Ford with 0% confidence. Uh, 2% uh, confidence. Mm. Okay. All right. Better than none. Uh, Do I get to stay along on the line and see if I'm right or wrong? No, they're cutting off our time right now. I'll let you know. Jimmy not knowing that hurt my soul a little bit. Yeah. Do we want to go 50-50? You're starting to fire off some intuitive knowledge. Like I said before, I get confident and we run with it and I could be so wrong. Are they? Let's use the 50, Let's right? go 50. Even though we're on 70. Oh, I forgot we had to get a new only question. On well, maybe we'll save that for the right time. Yeah, let's save that. I feel like maybe we can. So um, we'll go 50? Yeah. And 50-50. Go for it. Okay. So we took away Jimmy's, and we have the game, the suggestion the video game has presented us with. I think we use process of elimination and lean that way. Even though I would have I mean, never guessed it. Ronnie Dutch Reagan? Are you kidding me? He was a... I, wasn't he an actor? Yeah. 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 Go for it. Do it. Pull sugar. Seems quite appropriate to me. Does Come it? Come on. Come on, crowd and game. Answer. Come on, crowd sure. and game. Never a doubt. <laughs> Jimmy could not have been more wrong. What is the name for a hundred fiftieth anniversary? Okay. Oh, crap. Hundred. Hundred seems to be the centennial in each word. Fifty. Quarter seems like a quarter, so I'm gonna rule that one out. But fifty is a part of a quarter. I mean, I won't argue with that ever. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue with what you just said ever, but if we can't rule out quarter, we're having a bad time. We could pull the audience and pull our audience. Nobody knows this out there. Not a single person. They don't know. Not a single person. Nobody knows this. Zach's in the room and he's giving me a look like he knows this, but that feels illegal. It does. So now it feels like we can almost get a borderline illegal answer. But do we want to be those people. Kinda. Um, I'm not against it, if we're being honest. We have three audiences we're polling currently. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> sit, maybe just throw it out there without the options and see if someone knows. I'm gonna pull the audience in the game. Hey guys, I have a question. Um, Jake and I are playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we have a very important question. We're polling the audience. What is the name for 150th anniversary? Anyone? 
All right, you guys were no help. Thank you. Um, but BBD seemed pretty confident in B. Sesquicentennial. Yep. That is what the audience in the game gave us. Okay. Zach, you are part of, part of the crowd. You, you said are. you didn't look this up. Do you think it's B. Sesquicentennial? He's not confident. So, across the board, Sesquicentennial. Go for it. Yeah, I'm we're going to fire it off. Every single one of them just... I guess, I mean, if we were out there, we probably would have done the same. Which toy do Woody and Bo Peep want to save at the beginning of Toy Story 4? This is a big one. This gets us to the safety net of 3,200. 32,000. 32,000 even. Yeah. Which could be a little more. You don't know anything about Toy Story. So I know, you know, I've watched the originals. I think I've watched one and two. I don't think I got to four. When I, I life got in the way. The only lifeline we have left is the question change. No, I don't think we should do that. No? If you were Woody and Bo Peep. Right. I'll be Bo Peep, you Actually, I think it's between A and D. If you think about it, right. logistically speaking, okay. toy soldiers are created to save themselves because they're soldiers. Right. They should be able to fight back. A stuffed animal is essentially just, you know, an animal that's helpless and there to love you. It needs to be saved. So I'm leaning towards that. I will say I cannot say with 100% confidence. But I don't feel like we waste that. Then we're just... But if we're dead, we're dead. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I guess we... I mean... I think we use it. I just... Let's use it. Screw it. We have no idea. We don't. I love your logic, but we have no idea. <laughs> I really think it was a stuffed animal, and I'm going to ask them after if it was. Actually, we'll do a new question. Okay. Hmm? It tells us... Wow, I would have not been right. Goodbye. We were right to not be right. You're right, yeah. Here we go. Okay, in which sport might you ride the tube? Oh, no, you do surf. It's a... Right. Oh, shit. You bobsled <laughs> down. <laughs> okay. Because Drag... you... <laughs> Let's do this. I mean, surfing when they're in the wave, if that's not riding the tube, I don't know what is. I mean, it's definitely bobsled or surfing. My my soul is saying surfing. Same. Here's what I'll say. If we went down on the last one, I would have felt bad. We had a lifeline left, and we didn't go. True. Here, we have two options we kind of like. Mm -hmm. Our instinct is both saying surfing. If yeah. this is how we go out, because bobslayers, slay, slaters. Technically, the tube that they go down is only half, right? Right, it's not a complete tube It'd where surfing makes a tube. Complete tube. I like our logic. I, I do too. And if not, then I don't know. I'm saying B. Yes, B. I locked it. Oh my god, god. Yes! Let's go! Dish. Ooh, not World Series. Um, It's... Not the World Series. I not, agree with you. What's the man's? Uh, yes. Um, okay. I think it's the Derby. So I think Wimbledon's in play because yeah. they, when they toast it, it's it kind a... of a dish. I mean, Kentucky Derby, that feels like something that would be at the Kentucky Derby. Layman's, we don't know what that is currently. And I'm just ignoring so it. So we're ruling it out. Ignoring it. <sighs> okay. Here's my first thought is Venus Rosewater dish is not Wimbledon. Because of Venus and Serena. Right. Does that make sense? Not, I don't know. not really. Nothing. But I feel like Can't we really would have that. seen Venus Rosewater Dish on social and that like Venus with the Venus. Yeah. That feels like, feels an like easy something PR we know. play. Serena with Venus. Yeah. Right? I see what you're saying. And Lay Man's we don't know what that is. Like, Kentucky Derby feels like they have ample amounts of rose water. And they put they put the roses on the horse? <gasps> they do! 
That's a good point. They don't put roses around tennis players. Definitely not. So. I like the Derby. I do too. I, I am the most confident out of my unconfidence. And if this Derby. is it, we we still did well. We made it to 10. Do it. Thank oh. you. Yeah. Okay. She has the same mentality as us, which I don't love necessarily. <laughs> Good vibes. Yeah, it is. Oh! Oh no. Then why have we never seen Venus with the Venus? Hey, hey, hey. Yay, participation trophy. We just got $3,200, more importantly, 200. 32,000, once again. <laughs> Never been a math odd. Uh, hey, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be back becoming millionaires another time. Thank you. Bye.